So guys, I am back with another Power World video, and did you know there are legendary items and schematics you can get within Power World? These legendary schematics are obviously the best version of said items, which will obviously require you to craft them, but these are farmable. And today guys, I'll showcase you exactly in the game where you can farm each and every one of these legendary schematics. These are way better than the standard versions you will be able to craft just via purchasing the blueprint. These are the legendary variant where in most cases, uh, the stats on per item are usually doubled to that standard counterpart. Let's go people. Now, before we go any further, I am giving away a couple of copies of this game. So if you want to play Power World and don't own it already, here is your chance to win. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Make sure you are subbed and have those notifications turned on and I will announce the winners at the end of this week. Good luck. So these legendary schematics allow you to craft the best items in the game. And personally for me, it's just another addition to Power World I'm happy to farm extra for. Now as far as I'm aware, there are loads of these legendary schematics in the game, but the 9 best are the 9 end game ones you'll have to farm these 9 alpha world bosses for, and those are the ones we're going to talk about in today's video. Alpha powers are basically the world boss powers that appear on your map people. But don't get it twisted guys, these won't be as straightforward as you might think. Some of these schematics come from the hardest world boss alpha powers in this game. And also paired with that, they have an extremely rare drop rate chance. But thinking about it and so they should considering they are the best items in this game. Now as far as I'm aware, there's a legendary old bow schematic, legendary power helmet, legendary cold and heat resistant armors, legendary pump action shotgun, legendary rocket or missile launcher, legendary assault rifle, legendary handgun, and a legendary crossbow. Another thing to add, these legendary schematics don't seem to be exclusive to these bosses, I do not think as I have seen people report that they have got these certain schematics from higher level dungeon chests and so forth. Although I cannot confirm this as I haven't been this lucky, I have seen people state that they have got legendary schematics from chests too, so keep that in mind. Now I do believe there are other legendaries in the game in regards to schematics, but these are the ones that drop specifically and I believe are farmable from these alpha world bosses so do keep that in mind there are others in this game but these are definitely the best of what's on offer here now a few tips for people playing in their own worlds that will make this a lot easier for them these alpha bosses who drop these schematics do respawn on a full day cycle i do believe so if you wanted to make them spawning faster upon you taking them down to increase your farming efficiency you could increase your day and night cycles i think putting them on a max speed will bring a full day cycle down to i believe around 10 to 12 minutes so pretty quick you can also try increasing your power count. I ain't sure how this will work with world bosses or these alpha world bosses, but I have seen people state putting this on a max of three may increase the bosses upon the areas you want to farm them. Personally, for me, dealing with one jet dragon is enough, but three of them would be a little overkill in my opinion. But hey, do what you gotta do. You could also increase your damage output and power damage output if you wanted to make things, in my opinion, kind of pointless, but I haven't really messed with these. These you do in your custom world settings, by the way, and I think will only work in your own personal world. So keep that in mind. Now, when it comes to actually farming these powers, you can catch them or kill them. It doesn't matter. It does not affect the drop chances. You'll still get all the drops you're going to get in the first place. So yes, do what you got to do if you ain't got the spheres to catch these things. And a lot of these uh, world bosses will require the best of legendary spheres. I mean, just take them out, kill them. Simple as that, people. But yes, do what you got to do to farm them. So where and who do you have to farm for what legendary schematics? So let's go. So first up guys, we have the legendary crossbow. To get this, you need to farm the alpha world boss of Bushy, you can see right here on the map. Now Bushy is only a level 23, so this is something you could probably farm a little earlier on, but in regards to materials needed to craft this, I think you'd have to wait for a little longer in order to be able to build this thing. But yeah, Bushy is seen right here on the map, people. Uh, Bushy is also weak to those water element powers too. So you want to come here and farm it and make it more easy on yourself. Do what you got to do here, people. Next up, guys, we have the legendary old bow schematic. Now, this drops from the King Packer Alpha boss seen on the map right here. 
Now he's also only a level 23, so someone could probably come and farm a little early on. This may be one you will be able to get the required materials for, but do what you gotta do. Now King Packer is weak to those Dark Element Pals, so keep that in mind too if you plan on farming this guy. Next up people we have Beacon, actually one of my favourite birds in the game. This bird drops the legendary handgun schematic. So the alpha boss version of Beacon can be seen right here on the map. Now this is only a level 29, so again pretty easy to farm. And Beacon, being an electric type, is weak to those ground type pals. So if you come here guys, do what you gotta do and get this thing. Next up people, we have the Pump Action Shotgun, a legendary schematic for this amazing weapon. Now this drops from Suzaku who is a mythical fire bird. Now the alpha variant of this world bus is seen right here on the map and it is a level 45. Now right here on the map guys, you will need that cold and heat resistant armor dependent on what time of day you come up here. So keep that in mind too and probably the best versions of said armor. Now Suzaku is weak to those water element powers. So yes, keep that in mind too if you plan on farming this guy to get the legendary pump action shotgun schematic next up guys we have the legendary auto rifle schematic this drops from the alpha world boss of blazemont uh, who is a level 49 now heat resistant armor will be needed here guys it's quite a hot area the best version is armor 2 you want to be wearing that's for sure now Blazemot is weak to those water element powers also guys, so if you plan on coming up here and trying to farm this guy, you gotta do what you gotta do people. Now the following four legendary schematics all come from the legendary alpha bosses on the map, these are all a level 50, so keep that in mind. So first up we have the legendary cold and heat resistant armors, these drop from Palladius and Necromus. These again are a level 50. These are legendary world bosses. And did I forget to mention they spawn together. So you'll be fighting two of these unless you play it smart. But I've got a few tips and tricks for you. Now again, these are level 50s. Uh, the area that they're in in the daytime is extremely hot. So heat resistant armor will be needed. Nighttime is extremely cold. So cold resistant armor will be needed probably best to bring both. Now what I will say is if you come up here at night time guys, odds are Palladius will be asleep, meaning you can take these out one at a time. If you come up in the daytime you're fighting them both at the same time, so keep that in mind. Also people, Palladius is weak to that dark element type powers and Necromus is weak to dragon element type powers, so also keep that in mind. Okay, so moving on and next up we have the legendary Pow Helmet schematic. Now this drops from Frost Stallion who is located right here on the map. Again, a legendary alpha world boss at a level 50. Now Frost Stallion is probably the easiest of these legendary bosses to take out because when you fight her, there's so many obstacles we can hide behind where your power does all that work. Now Frost Stallion is weak to that fire element power also and also when you come up here guys you're gonna need that cold resistant armor because it's freezing up here. So do what you gotta do guys and get that schematic. Now lastly on the list we have the legendary rocket launcher or missile launcher schematic. This drops from Dragon, probably the hardest boss in this game. Now this alpha legendary world boss spawns right here on the map, a very very hot area, you will need that heat resistant armor when you come up here guys. Now Jet Dragon being a dragon type pal, he's weak to ice type pal, so also keep that in mind. Also if you've got long range weapons like the one shot a rifle, these really help you out. Just drop out your ice type pals, you fight, you climb up high and shoot from afar. Maybe your best chance is to farm this thing on official service. So yes, do what you gotta do, people. But there we have it. Those are all of the legendary schematics I know that are in the game as of right now. Also, before we end the video, credit to Bills Gaming for actually uploading a guide on these. I mean, I've seen a couple of people now cover this and cover these legendary schematics, but not give this dude credit. So you'll find his channel link down below if you do want to check him out and show him some love. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you like what you see and want to see more Power World, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.